me just dive in because I think we're going to break up these sort of sections into two areas, and that is prepping before you walk in the door to tell your pitch. And Daniel, I'm going to throw to Daniel to talk about a pitch itself and a little bit of the storytelling elements that are key to your pitch. So I think you need to know who you're pitching to, know your audience and know your network, right? Because Disney is not looking for the same stuff that Nickelodeon is looking for as either Cartoon Network or Netflix or now HBO Max. I feel like Apple, I have to make a long list now, they're increasing, which is great because there's more animation. People want more animation, yeah, yeah. finally. Um, so I think you need to research and it doesn't mean you have to call blindly and ask what they're looking for, but I think you need to know what the content is on their, the network. Um, if you can find out, look in the trades about what they're developing uh, because the last thing you wanna do is go in with a pitch and sometimes it happens and that's okay where they already have something that they've announced. What is our three major, major pillars? And I think the first one is comedy, comedy, comedy. You guys know when you come here that it's going to, you're gonna laugh. Whether it's through comedy action, comedy adventure, just a plain sitcom, Nickelodeon brings that authentic kid perspective that's gonna make you laugh. <laughs> you know, everything that we create comes from a kid's perspective and from their emotional ranges, from their, from their Growing up, the good, the bad, the ugly, we tell stories about the imperfect, perfect kid um, because it's all of that. And then the other element is that Nickelodeon will forever be gender neutral. So we're gonna be going after boys and girls equal parts. I was appalled when someone said this to me. Uniqueness is overrated, right? Newness is overrated. I was like, what are you talking about? Um, but the <laughs> truth is, yeah, it's true. A lot of things have been done. Most things have been done. But it's your specific take on an idea or on a design or anything that gets me excited. Like, that's what makes it a people business, not an AI business. It's like your background, your history, your point of view in the world is what makes this story interesting. When you're making your show or work on any project, be thinking about what is this project trying to say? Like, what is what do you want to say with this show? There's a lot of great fun. But if you all, we all know these shows that are just a lot of fun to watch or kind of fun to watch, but then when it's off there, you don't really think about that much. You might think about a laugh that was in there, but it doesn't stick to your ribs. And at Nick, we're really trying to create shows that stick to your ribs, which means after you stop watching it, there's, there's something that resonates with you. Like the theme of SpongeBob could be optimism wins out over everything. Like you have Squidward always as the empty thing pushing against it, but SpongeBob, trust and optimism, it'll, it'll save the day and that's the way you should be. Any show you think of that really sticks with you, what is it trying to say? And one thing I've heard through a few different jobs is the t-shirt test. Like, would you wear this character on a t-shirt? And it's not, you know, it's not to sell t-shirts, although that, that could be outcome of a great show. It's more, why would you wear SpongeBob versus uh, Mabel versus Buttercup or Blossom, you know, on your shirt? Like, what is that saying about you today and your point of view on life? And that's kind of thing we'll be looking for when you come in to pitch us. Like, yes, is this show kid relatable? Is it a kid's eye view of the world? Like it's got it, Nick is always like kid approved. If the kids aren't gonna like this, we're, we're not gonna make it. It's not like good for kids television. We're trying to represent the vast audience out there and reflect back to them, the messy kid, the flawed kid that can make mistakes, but he's still on their side and they, they're still redeemed. Like the great fairy tales of, of history, you know? You can get in trouble and get, uh, get out of it. So these are the things when you're actually pitching us an idea of what we'll be looking for from a developer's eye. First foremost, don't come in and scattershot a big idea where we're trying to figure out, parse out, okay, what's the core of this idea? What is the idea? Think of it as like the tip of an iceberg where we know your show, you've thought so deep about it, like Avatar, it's so deep, but that core top when you're introducing it to a viewer or an executive who has to keep arguing it up the ladder a little bit, like pitching your show in a top line way. What is the show really about? What's the core relationship? What is the core conflict? And what, what can you expect to happen? That's all we'll be looking for. So you don't have to come in having thought through everything. Think of a pitch almost as a conversation starter where you're introducing a few core traits that we're gonna be talking back and forth on. And all that means is also, before you come in and pitch us, make sure you practice it. Make sure you pitch it to your friends that aren't nice to you that will give you strong critical feedback in your best interest, you know? I had a former boss um, at Disney who was at Pixar before, and they talked about their their story lab or their sto where you have to show your stuff in front of all your colleagues. And they said it was almost like when you present your work and it's never finished, you're never comfortable about it, it's never the right place, but it's like 
you, you present your work as, as standing there with your arms cut off and dropping your pants, because that's what it feels like. But you have to just be open to that vulnerability when you're talking about your projects. It shouldn't be a presentation as much as laying out, this is it, and then make it a conversation. Test in, test it one, two, three. We're gonna dive deep into the world of storyboarding. 2D animation pipeline. Four act structure. This is everything when it comes to character design. This session is for you all. We want to be as helpful as possible. Now you must acquire a taste for freeform jazz. Okay, SpongeBob, you're ready. 